Saw a good question today in the Articulate Storyline forums regarding markers. And this is a slide that's got some examples of markers where you can hover and then click to see some additional content for each of these little round buttons. And that content might include text, it might include a movie, or it might include a picture like we see here. Well, this particular Storyline user was wondering, is it possible to create a marker whose label includes only a picture and no text? And in fact, it is. So I'd like to show you how you can do that. Let me go ahead and close this preview. What we're going to do is add a new marker here. So I'm going to come up to the Insert tab and then choose Marker and then select one of the symbols here. We'll just go with one of these arrows and then I can drop that symbol right onto my slide and then the label opens up where I can add some content. So initially when you first add a marker, it's going to look like this where there's this placeholder text up here where it says click to add title and click to add description. Well, the thing is, you don't really have to add any text there. Um, that um, placeholder text is just there for you. If you don't enter anything at all, you're not going to see this text when you preview or publish. So let's just go ahead and um, with this marker selected, I'm going to come up here to the Marker Tools Format tab, and we're going to choose Media, and then select Picture from Files so that we can add an image to our marker's label. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this Beehive picture and then the picture drops right there onto my label. So right now it's kind of small, but what I can do is select the picture and that's going to give me this little handle that I can use to enlarge it. And I can make this pretty big. So what I would recommend doing is um, first go ahead and you know play around with your marker label and decide where you want it and maybe size it to be you know a particular size. Once you've got that label the way that you like it, then you can format the picture to fit nicely within it. So I'm going to select my picture. I'm going to drag this handle so that it kind of enlarges my picture pretty big all the way up to right about the bottom edge of that placeholder text. I don't want to cover it up because um, this placeholder is actually going to show up um, as a, like a little white bar if I, um, if I cover this up with my um, picture. So I'm going to go right up to the bottom of that text just about like that. And then I can go ahead and preview or publish and see how this looks. So when I click on this marker, then my beehive picture appears. One thing that you might notice though is if you just hover over the marker, see what's happening there? I'm just getting that white bar that pops up because um, the typical behavior of a marker is that it's going to show the label title when you hover and then when the learner clicks, it's going to open up the label and show all of the contents. So what you might want to consider doing is select your marker and then up here on the Marker Tools Format tab, mark this box that says Show All on Hover. That way, um, the, the entire contents of the label will appear when the learner hovers and you won't get that funny you know, white bar that pops up because that kind of looks like there's a mistake or something. Um, so this way, the learner hovers, everything appears, and then they can click to close the marker. So let me just give you a look at how that behaves. So here's the new one that we created. I'm just going to hover, everything pops up and opens, and then if I click, then it's going to close the label back up. So that's one way that you can create a um, marker whose label only includes an image and no text.